गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली सो इन माई लास्ट सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट कम्प्लीट यूनिट वन विच इंक्लूड इंट्रोडक्शन टू मैक्रो कंट्रोलर मैक्रो प्रोसेसर डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैट दैन अ पीक एटीन मैक्रो कंट्रोलर देर ब्लॉक डायग्राम आर्किटेक्चर मेमरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैन अ रजिस्टर्स एंड एड्रेसिंग मोड्स दैन वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट पावर सप्लाई फीचर्स लाइक वॉच डॉग टाइमर ब्राउन आउट रिसेट दैन अ पावर डाउन मोड्स so we discuss this all things in unit 1 and i have mentioned the link of that videos in below description box now in this session uh, we will discuss about the complete pin diagram or pin description of pic 18 microcontroller okay so in this part 1 we will discuss about port a and port b only and later in next video we will discuss about part 2 that is port c port d and port e so let's start with this pin description so see here this is a pin diagram of pic 18f 452 microcontroller so there are total 40 pins as you see there are total 40 pins so from that 40 pins 36 pins is work as a input output pins and remaining pins is generally work as a power supply see here the pin number 1 that is master clear reset pin we already discussed this pin in last video when you want to reset the system or reboot the system so at that time this pin is zero means they terminate all the activities and reset the system and when mclr equal to 1 means normal execution have started so this is mclr master clear reset now see here pin number 11 and pin number 32 that is positive power supply means they provide the power supply like plus 5 volt power supply to the microcontroller now pin number 12 and pin number 31 that is vss ground every electronics and every microcontroller circuit can be started from power supply to the ground means plus 5 volt is a power supply and when system is switch off or shut down so it goes to zero volt that is ground okay so they provide this kind of features now in this pin diagram there are five ports port a port b port c and port d so uh, wait yeah there are total five ports now see here pin number 2 to pin number 7 and pin number 14 these are the port a pin okay so that is 7 bit pins now pin number 33 to pin number 40 that is 8 bit pin of port b now next pin number 15 to pin number 18 and pin number 23 to 26 these are the 8 bit pin of port c next pin number 19 20 21 22 then pin number 27 to 30 these are the port d pin that is 7 bit 8 bit pin okay and now last port e pin number 8 9 and 10 these are the port e 3 bit pin so in this way there are total 40 pins from that 36 pins work as a input output pins there are total five ports port a b c d and e so this is the overview of this pin diagram so as discussed in pin diagram there are total five ports okay port a seven pins port b c d having eight pins and port e three pins as per the name as this these are the names of that particular pin and these are the pin numbers so from that uh, pin diagram some pins is work as a, provide the multiple functions means one pin provide multiple features it means that some input output ports are multiplexed with alternate functions okay from that peripheral features on the devices so this is the overview of the ports now see here uh, this is the trace register see as i told you every pin in pin diagram is work as a bidirectional means they can work as a input pin as well as output pin means they can provide the features of read, read the data as well as write the data so this trace register decide that whether the particular pin work as a input pin or output pin see here port a having trace a register similarly port b having trace b register in this way each and every port having the trace register so this trace equal to 0 means particular pin uh, is work as a input pin and when trace is equal to 1 the pin work as a output pin in this way so this trace register handle each and every pins of each and every ports 
now so let's start with the port a so see here in this uh, pin diagram port a having seven bit pin means there are total seven features are there and every pin work as a bidirectional okay uh, means they work as a input as well as output so this trees a that is data direction registers are there this register decide that whether the pin is work as a input pin as well as output pin so let's start with the first see here ra0 ra1 ra2 up to ra6 these are the names of that particular pin okay these are the naming conventions of pin now an0 an1 up to an4 means each and every pin work as a analog pins right next next is ra2 see here ra2 and ra3 they provide the features of v reference plus and v reference negative see v reference plus means voltage reference positive and voltage reference negative as i discussed in last video uh, suppose plus 5 volt this is a proper power supply right the particular range means plus 3 volt to plus 5 volt this is a good power supply means voltage reference positive is 1 okay now next if your power supply is low that is low voltage is there means below 3 volt so at that time we reference negative this pin is high or 1 otherwise low so they provide this kind of features now the next is ra4 so ra4 pin provides the timer 0 module clock input they provides the timer 0 features they also provide the two features that is skim it trigger and open drain output so skim it trigger means see each and every pins work as a analog pins analog pins means square waves or sine waves <coughs> like ecg ecg used in medical field they show the pulse rate in a particular waves format right so all this waves information or generate the or trigger the waves by using this pin that is skim it trigger and open drain output means when your output device is off at that time power supply is connected to the ground okay so they provide this kind of features now the next is ra5 so ra5 provide the two features that is ss synchronous serial information and lvdin that is low voltage detection input so in microcontroller having two ways master devices and slave devices so master devices generally is microcontroller and slave devices me all the other devices like sensor camera timer counter each and every devices connected to the microcontroller are the slaves okay now ra6 pin last pin they provide the features of oscillator so oscillator generally provide the frequency to each and every timers so in this way the port a work as a uh, or provide the battery backup or a power management features to the microcontroller now uh, move forward to the next port that is port b see here in this diagram the pin number 33 to 40 there are total 8 pins each pin work as a bidirectional means every pin work as a input as well as output pin so in port b data direction trees b register is used when trees b equal to 0 pin work as a input pin and when trees b equal to 1 pin work as a output pin now see here pin number 33 34 and 35 these three pins that is rb0 rb1 and rb2 they provide the interrupt features means int0 int1 and int2 if any interrupts are occur uh, while performing the execution so at that time these pins are handle the interrupts internal interrupts as well as external interrupts i will explain detail interrupts in next unit so this is a just remember this thing these three features handle all the internal or external interrupts if this interrupts are solved after that resume the current task now the next one is rb3 rb3 port provide the ccp features that is capture compare pulse width modulation they handle all the signals related information they capture the signals analyze those signals convert the signals into the analog format and access those information that is ccp mode now the next one is uh, rb4 rb4 to rb7 this pin is called as interruption change features okay so let's see here rb7 okay so rb7 pin provide the features of pgd 
so pgd means programming data okay see uh, when you want to execute your program so you can burn your embedded or assembly program into the microcontroller right means each and every information are read through the microcontroller so at that time this pin is high okay means they allowing the programming data to be read and in device information to be read out each and every commands that is programming data so at that time this pin is high otherwise low now pgc that is programming clock signal see to read the particular information to access the information and to write information for all this purpose you need to use the clock signals you need to use the timers right so when you perform this kind of task at that time this pgc programming clock this pin is high okay means they can uh, control each and every data and each and every task whatever the information is performed they can provide the clock signals so that is pgc equal to 1 next is pgm pgm means low volt programming signals see microcontroller can perform very well at the plus 5 volt power supplies there in between plus 3 volt to plus 5 volt power supplies there at that time microcontroller perform each and every task in very well format if there was low voltage and a uh, dim voltage is there so at that time microcontroller cannot perform the task okay so this pgm signal handles this kind of features if proper power supply is there so at that time pgm signal is 1 and if there is a low voltage and dim voltage is there at that time pgm equal to 0 so these are the port b features so in this way port a and port b provide this kind of features in pic 18 microcontroller so we will discuss port c port d and port e in next session so keep watching thank you